Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn wiring of CCTV camera. With this camera here, we also have to use DVR. Inside this DVR, there is a hard disk. In this hard disk, whole data is stored. Now to connect this camera with DVR, we have to use a cable. This cable looks like this. With this cable, you can see connectors are already connected. If in your cable, connectors are not connected, then you have to use connectors separately. Now this connector here, we call this as BNC connector. Through this connector, footage of CCTV camera is connected with DVR. And along with this, to provide power supply to CCTV camera also, we use this connector. So I have two CCTV camera here. So I am using two different cables here. Now inside this cable, you will get total four wires. Among these four wires, you will find a wire completely different from other three wires. These wires will be same as the wires we use in our home, but only one wire will be completely different. This completely different wire is used to transfer footage of CCTV camera to DVR. So what we will do, take this different wire and connect with mail connector. You can see here, along with CCTV camera, there are two connectors. Among these two, this connector here, this connector is here to provide output of CCTV footage. So with this connector, I connected this wire. Now take other end of this wire and in this DVR, at the back side of DVR, you will find video in terminal. With this pin, you have to connect this wire. I am doing connection here directly, but you have to connect BNC connector here. Along with this, with this wire also, you have to connect BNC connector. Similarly, the most different wire of this cable here, take this wire and with this connector, connect this wire. Now take other end of wire and at the back side of DVR with video in pin, connect this wire with this pin. So footage we will get from CCTV camera, we connected this with DVR. Now to operate this camera, we have to provide power supply also. We need to provide 12 volt DC power supply to this camera. To provide DC power supply to this, we use a SMPS. If you want, you can use an adapter also through which you will get 12 volt DC power supply in output. Right now, I am explaining you through SMPS only. Work of this SMPS is to convert AC power supply into DC power supply. So we have to do connection of SMPS with AC power supply. For connection, there is a cable in SMPS. Take this cable and connect with switchboard directly. If you connect 230 volt AC power supply with this, then in this condition, output terminal of this SMPS, these three terminals, you will get 12 volt DC power supply on these terminals. Now here what you have to do, in this cable, there are remaining three wires. Among these three, you have to use any two wires to provide DC power supply to camera. So what we will do, I am taking red wire of this cable and in this SMPS with positive terminal, I am connecting this wire. After this, take black wire of this cable and connect it with negative terminal. You can see here how I did connections here. Now take output of these two wires and in this camera with connector here with which we have to connect DC power supply with this pin connect these two wires. Here also we have to use this type of connector for doing connections. Right now I am doing connections directly to show you. Similarly to this camera also connect power supply. For this, what we will do, take red wire of this cable and with positive terminal of SMPS, connect this wire. After this, take black wire of this cable and in this SMPS with negative terminal, connect this wire. Now take other two ends of these wires and connect with connector where we have to provide DC power supply to CCTV camera. Now to this DVR also, we have to provide power supply. For providing power supply, here you have to use an adapter. From this adapter, you will get 12 volt power supply in output. Take output cable of this adapter and at the back side of DVR, you will find a power terminal, this one. With this terminal, connect this cable. Friends, if you do only this much connection, then what happen is camera will do the recording and the footage will be stored to hard disk kept inside this DVR. As you know that whatever recording we do, we need a display of this recording also. To see this, we use monitor. So this is our monitor. To do connection of this monitor, you have to use a cable. Cable which we use for monitor, we call this cable as VGA cable. This is our VGA cable. Along with this cable, you can see two connectors are connected. 
one connector is going to be connected with DVR and one connector is going to be connected with monitor. How this will be done? Let's understand. Look, at the back side of DVR, this VGA port which is given here, with this port you have to connect the connector. Now take other end of this cable and in this monitor, at the back side you will find similar port like this. With that port, you have to connect another connector. Now to this monitor also, we will provide power supply. For this, what we will do, at the back side there is a cable, take this cable and connect with AC power supply. Now in this monitor, if we want to do any kind of selection or programming, then for this we have to use mouse. So take USB cable of your mouse, bring here and at the back side of DVR, this USB port which is given, with this port connect this cable. I am not showing you because there is not enough space. So just only understand this that you have to connect cable of mouse with this USB port. For your home, if you want to install CCTV camera, then only this much connection is required. Now you want that whatever footage is recording, you want to see live recording of this footage. Then for this, you have to use a router. Through this router, we will provide internet connection to this DVR through which whole footage of this can be watched on mobile. How to connect this, let's understand. Look, to operate this router, we have to provide power supply to this also. For providing power supply, with this, there comes an adapter. We have to connect this adapter with the power socket. Now take output cable of this adapter and with this pin of router where power is written, with this, connect this cable. So this router will now get power supply. Now through this router, to provide internet connection to this DVR, we have to use a cable. A cable which we will use, this cable is known as Ethernet cable. We use this Ethernet cable to provide internet connection. At the back side of this router, there is a LAN port. With this port, you have to connect Ethernet cable and bring this cable directly. This port here, I mean LAN type of port which is given here, with this port only, you have to connect this cable. Besides at the back side of DVR, here it is written audio in, audio out. It means that along with video recording, you want to do audio recording also, then whatever your mic is, take output of your mic and connect it with audio in. And if you want to listen voice, then speaker you have, there is a cable of speaker, take pin of this cable and connect with this audio out terminal. That's it friends. Friends in this way, we do connection of CCTV camera. Friends if you want to learn about solar panel connection with inverter and battery for home, then click on the right hand side video to watch. Thanks for watching this video.